Hello everybody, welcome to the Monday. It is August 26th. It is 6.44 in the morning or 6.45, it just changed. Um, on Monday, the first day of school for the university, I just got to the parking structure a little early, I know, but the traffic is gonna be crazy and it isn't from where Matt and I are staying. And it is the first day of the Discover New Worlds readathon and I'm so excited for this. So in this vlog, I'm gonna try and vlog the whole week, add some new cool things, hopefully it turns out good. But my first book this week is a graphic novel. Um, it is from the Teen Titans art author um, and it's called Raven and it's by Cami Garcia. Matt picked this up for me and Matt will also be reading this this week but this is my first book this week. Hopefully you saw a TBR clip that I filmed earlier which also included this and a couple other books so I'm hoping to start this today. I did kind of cheat and I was up a little bit last night and I did already start Solus the provocateur novel i don't have it up on my phone but i'm only like 10 pages in i'm very excited about everything and i will hopefully get some good clips for you guys but i am gonna eat breakfast and then i'm off to work and i will see you guys a little bit later bye hello hello many hours later it is now 10 17 I am home from Old Navy. Sorry I didn't vlog earlier. Matt's here. And we got Taco Bell because neither of us have really eaten. <laughs> um, but yeah, typical night for us. I know we should be eating earlier, but we're gonna stay up for a while and probably watch an episode of something. Um, also, I finished Raven by Cami Garcia, this graphic novel. So it's the first book that I finished for the readathon, and I really liked it. It was a quick read, or I just had more time today. But yes, I enjoyed it, and yes, I can't wait to see if there's more. Also, Matt will be reading this, so you'll see a commentary later. Are we gonna do a dual review? Um, yeah, later in the vlog. Yay! Because it's Monday, but yes. Um, hopefully there's more on this because it kind of ended on a cliffhanger. But no more spoilers because Matt hasn't read it yet. But he does know some of the story. So, I will be... I also did start Soul Itch, which I talked about earlier, but I will also be pulling another book from my TBR list, which I will probably tell you about in the morning. And yeah, that is all for tonight. So good night, and I will see you a bit later. Hello everybody, welcome back to In Car Vlogs with Jamie. Um, but this is Tuesday, uh, August 27th, the second day of the readathon. It's early morning, it's 6.40, I just got to the parking garage. We're gonna do some mail opening because I picked up the mail this morning, which was kind of a f interesting thing. I got these things last night, which is very exciting because I needed them both. Um, one of them is a package for one of my coworkers at Old Navy. Yes, I'm using a knife because I don't have scissors. Um, and let's hope this goes well. Um, that I ordered because it's her last week and then she goes on maternity leave. So I was really happy that it came in time. I actually ordered this Thursday, I believe. Ooh, it came in a box. Yay, and that's my invoice. So I will put that somewhere else. Pardon me while I get organized. But I ordered her uh, as a baby shower gift, the car seat key. I heard about this from Charming Plans. So that is what it looks like. It's supposed to help like um, with the car seat, child car seat buckles. I don't know if you can tell over there, but um, they are kind of depressed and I got her a gray color, which is a lucky thing or gray or black color. I just wanted her to have like one. I wasn't sure, if, quite sure if she was like a pink person or not, but I got her this, um, cause I know that at work she wears a lot of like neutral tones, but you know, that could just be what fits. Um, and she doesn't want to get dressed from her other job. Um, but yeah, 
this came, I guess I can look at it and see what color I actually got her. Hold on, hold on, if it'll let me nicely open it without damaging it, because it is a gift. Well, that did not go well, but it, I got her the black color. I think it comes up gray on the the website, but weird, weird. Oh, that guy's checking for parking and stuff. Is that all? What? What is going on? Oh, he might be checking for parking stickers, but it comes with a little clasp. You can attach it to your keys or whatever. And this part, you you the top part, you use to put in on the top of the car seat and help you push. And she also has long nails, so I'm hoping that she'll like it. So I'm stopping by uh, work today, even though I don't work, um, to give it to her. Sorry, I was just kind of because he's walking around and they don't usually do that but I do have my new sticker on um, give this to her and then it's another one of my co-workers last days because she's going back to school and working in San Francisco so she was only working here for the summer and then the other package that I'm gonna open should be my type A for Alexa dividers which hopefully our inventor destroyed and hopefully I can do this properly Um, so I'm not gonna open them right now, but I did I think I got the hollow oil Slick hollow and I got them for my ring bound and then she was having a special so she did a vinyl of the name and then I also got the dashboard with my initial on it um, But yeah, they look amazing and I love this hollow. I will probably take a picture later on With that but yeah, that is all for now. Oh, I should show you what I'm reading. So I am reading, we're gonna start today. What is this guy doing? Oh, that's the um, book finale by Stephanie Garber. I got this in my fairy loot a couple months ago. I will try and link that video up here. Um, but yes, I haven't had a chance to read it. And this fulfills the prompt of having foil on the cover because there's this glitter over here, which is kind of foily. And then this part isn't foily, but on the inside, if I can get this dust jacket off, this part is also foiled. So I think that does pretty well. So yeah, and in case you didn't, I don't think I showed this in this that vlog, but my copy is actually signed it was one of those um like fairy loot specials where you can order it and have it signed if you ordered the box and then there was like a lot of orders so they had to have um, them do book plates or something but yeah it was a really exciting box i'm gonna start this book and i will talk to you guys a little bit later bye hello it is now nine o'clock i've been home for a while i updated my planner with the type A for Alexa dividers. So I will be doing a planner flip through in another video. Hopefully you guys will get to see it. Um, I also ordered uh, the last Popco like her, from her closing sale. So hopefully I get a rings on strings kit um, so that I can put it in here. And not make my planner so fluffy anymore. Um, and make it look cute because there were a couple of rings on strings kits that were super cute but update on the reading which is why we're here um i haven't read that much more but i did um i haven't read any more out of finale which is this book from the loot crate 
I didn't read any more of that, but I did read about 10 or so pages in Solace. I'm on page 24 now in that it's going okay. I feel like Solace moves a little slow for me and I've just been binge watching 13 Reasons Why. I'm on episode 10 now. Um, and yeah, just gonna chill out for the rest of the night, hopefully read more, and then you'll get an update in the morning where I have to run a few more errands and hopefully not fall asleep at work. But yeah, tomorrow, hopefully Matt and I will film the back and forth talking part of this vlog where we review um teen titans raven which i read finished earlier and yeah i will see you guys in the next clip bye hello everybody just checking in because it is wednesday august 28th Ooh, that backlighting it is now 5 23 p.m. I, after work, I just got to the apartment. I'm meeting Matt here, and then we're going to decide what to do. Uh, it's been a long day. I was going to update you this morning on what I read, um, the little bit that I read before bed, but I got into work a little late, and then my coworker was sick, so it was just a big fun day. Um, I have been reading a little bit more uh, if it'll and I'm using my nook app oh as it falls asleep um, so I'm re I'm up to page 26 in solace and then I also am reading armor tolls the art of civility um, which is set in a different time and I am on page 36 in that they're both going really slowly I haven't started legend finale yet because that is the book that I'm going to read in hardback I'm trying to get through one of these first so hopefully I will have read more books this week if you saw my Goodreads update um, that I finish the favorite sister hold on a sec let me grab the book since it's right here this which I was reading last week I finished it up today at work because I didn't want to lug it around anymore um and this was also for the paper and glam book club I bought it because I saw it also I did not enjoy it as much but a full and it is not part of the readathon I just wanted to let you know that I did finish reading it today but I'm also working on the other books so there's that and I'm not very impressed with it is that the, the favorite sister so um, would not recommend this book unless you like reality television shows but yeah I am going to read a little bit adult a little bit hopefully get a few more things done working on some adulting things and it didn't go well as I was finishing work today because I think the call dropped but I'm gonna try and figure it out see if I can figure it out now because the lady had I was talking to you got some stuff done and yeah everything's going well today feels like a productive day even though I'm really tired um, I'm feeling a little better and hopefully Matt is feeling a little better but we'll get to see him in a little bit so I will see you in a while hello everybody we are now at Ruby Tuesday that's here on a Lua location, they made us download the app so we get spinach and artichoke dip. They made us, they twisted our arms, twisted our arms behind our back, and it hurt real bad. Yes, a little bit. <laughs> I mean, it's free uh, spinach and artichoke dip, but right now we're just deciding on the menu and things like that. I finished Raven. Did yeah, I, I told them that. that. Okay, cool. And we'll be reviewing that later when Matt's feeling a little better. He's still a little stuffed up. But yes, it is Wednesday. We're gonna eat. I'll show you a clip of the food a bit later. And yeah, I didn't really get to read that much. I did get distracted by Instagram. But yeah, I will see you in a little bit. We have a semi-destroyed plate of mac and cheese. I did add some Tabasco. 
Then we have some spinach artichoke dipped with rice. He has dirty rice there with green beans and zucchini. That's <laughs> his tomato soup. And then he had some salad bar with some of these brown croutons. So good. So good. Hello, everybody. This is future Jamie editing my vlog for the Discover New Worlds readathon, which is very long overdue, but I've been working crazy hours. Anyways, I found out when I was editing that I kind of stopped filming the rest of the week. It probably got busy, so I am going to try and update you on what I read or finished that week right now. So I, the group read and the new to me author I did not finish Soulless during the week, but I did finish it a little bit afterwards. I did enjoy it, kind of. It was a slow start, but once I got past the first 100 pages, it was worth it. And I don't know if I'm going to continue the series, honestly. It's probably going to be pushed onto my TBR for much, much later, but yes. I enjoyed it enough to finish the book um if you want a more in-depth review i will try to remember to link the blog post where i talk about all my discover new worlds readathon books in that blog post you can read all my thoughts on it um the book that i pick for on a journey is cami uh the teen titans raven book by cami garcia this book I loved. I finished early on in the week. Matt also read this book so I will probably put the review part where we're talking about it after this clip. Um, but yeah, we did a little review which is much later as you can probably tell. Um, on this book, he read this during the week. It also took him a day or so. But yes, we will be reviewing this book together and you'll see that clip in a little bit. Another, the other book that I had on here for different time period, um, and the foiled cover, or a different, yeah, different time period on a foiled cover was Finale, which is a book that I didn't get to at all, and I am now including this in the next readathon, which is the RIP readathon for October. And I'm also including it in a Gilmore Girls readathon, so I will definitely be getting to this book in October. Um, and the last book that I finished or didn't finish oh, was, um, well, the last book I finished, which was not part of my original readathon TBR, was The Favorite Sister. I didn't love this book, but I'm including it because I finished it during the week. Um, but I didn't love it. Don't recommend it um, unless you like reality TV. Another book that I was reading, let me see if I can find it, oh my gosh, was The Rules of Civility by Armour Tolles. I'm still reading that book. I'm about 170 pages in. It is picking up and I'm enjoying it more, but it's kind of slow and I'm it's taking me much longer to read that than I had hoped. And I'm also reading it on my Nook app, which sometimes me reading on my Nook app on my phone takes me a while, but it's going. It's going, it's what working through this, but stay tuned, this is the next clip, so you can watch Matt and I review Raven, and I will see you soon. Hello, everybody. Hello, every- no. This is going to be the portion of the video where Matt and I talk about our um, reviews of Cami Garcia's Teen Titans Raven. So Raven reviews. Sorry, that was a bad joke, but a great one. Write that down. Yes. So we are. I'm just going to include this in our weekly vlog. Hopefully, if not, um, I will link the vlog up there above his head. And then this will just be a separate video which will be linked all together. But I did read this for the Creating and Co. Readathon, Discovered World Worlds, and it was a journey. This is like one of the second graphic novels that he made me read. But I really and enjoyed it. I read it because I'm a nerd. 
All right, go ahead. <laughs> but I really enjoyed it. I love Cami Garcia's take on Raven in this. Um, and I read it in one day. It's, it's that fast. And as you can see, it's not very thick at all. What are your thoughts on this? I absolutely love this book. I am a big fan of the character from the original Teen Titans books, all that kind of stuff. But honestly, all that stuff aside, I think most people know the character from the cartoon series. That's probably the biggest thing. And um, the core of the character that you're familiar with, if you're familiar with the cartoon series, it's there. You know, it's, it's a girl who has to keep her emotions in check in maybe the most turbulent of circumstances, not knowing who her parents are, finding out who her father is, being horrified by what that means, and then basically has to ask herself, am I going to become my parents or am I going to strike out on my own? And it's this whole big metaphor and it's really beautiful and it's handled really well by Cami Garcia, I think so. Yes, who did the writing, but it is illustrated by Gabriel Piccolo. So, I mean, he's also illustrated a, a couple of uh, other books. I think uh, his artwork is really good. Did you yeah, like it? I found it really good. There were a few points that I think maybe need some polishing, but honestly, overall, both the writing and the, and the art for this was really nicely done. And it's not what you n normally would associate with type oh, of a comic book style. this is first graphic novel. Yeah. Uh, it's not what you would expect, I think, from uh, that comic book graphic novel type of style. It's not hyper polished and super glossy or anything like that. The, the storyline itself is a little bit more personalized and a little bit more emotional, not, you know, big over the top action stuff. And the art style really matches that. Like you get, you get a much more um, I get, I, personal style than anything like hyper glossy. Like, you know, it isn't like massive muscles and big boobs and spandex kind of a thing. Yes, I really enjoyed this, and I love the fact that they are doing like more graphic novels like this. The other one I read was Merit Tidebreaker, which I read for the. Um, other creating and cool readathon, I think it was Journey to Atlantis. I will link that blog post down below if I remember. But <laughs> yes. If I remember. Um, well, I also talked about it during like another vlog, and I, if I remember, I'll try and link that up above. There's a lot that's based on memory here. Yes. <laughs> yes. I hope. Even I hope it's novel. remembered. Yeah. No, th what I really like about this one is that yes, there are a bunch of DC characters that are ge getting this um, standalone graphic novel treatment that's almost made like a YA novel. And yeah, like, uh, like she was saying, the Mara one, the Raven one here, and I believe there's a Harley Quinn one that kind of puts the characters in high school, her and Poison Ivy are in high school, and then there is a Joker figure and all that kind of stuff, so could be interesting. At the back of this book, as she's got it open to it right now, yeah, they, is you actually they see the them. preview for the next book in this series, because Cami Garcia and uh, Gabriel uh, Piccolo uh, are gonna be working on the rest of the Teen Titans, and up next is Beast Boy. And the little preview pages look really cool. I'm looking forward to seeing that one. I found this one at random, at Barnes & Noble. I showed up there to actually buy a book for another comic book series called Monstrous. The uh, art, not the artist, the uh, author Marjorie Liu was doing a signing. So when I was picking up a book for that, I saw that one on the shelf and I was like, man, this looks too good. I love the character Raven and I wanted to get something for her. And ironically, he had never seen this one and no. he works at a comic book store. Yeah, I just stumbled into this. So it was a great find. Yes. So recommend, so if I insert this into the vlog, you will continue with the rest of the vlog. If not, it's a separate video. <laughs> and... If I remember. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> We're trying some new editing tricks with this video, so let me know what you guys think. If you enjoy Matt in this video, be sure to check out our uh, Marvel series. I will link those down below. I will also leave his Instagram hand and Twitter handles down below so you can follow them. He's pretty funny. And one day I'll actually have some videos up and she's featured in them. Yes. So you can get even more of her. Yes. <laughs> but yeah, I will see you guys all next time or in another video. Can Bye. we do more book reviews? Maybe. Let's see what the audience <laughs> thinks.